In this video, I will share how to create items in Business Central. And in this case, I want to create an alarm as a new item. So from my sales menu or other menus that contain items, I will go to my item list. And here I can click new for creating a new item. If I want to add the specific item number, I'll have to show all the fields. And in this case, I'd like to define the number of the item. And of course, also the description. This is an alo rim. And my base unit of measure, in this case, pieces on the first tab. My inventory tab is basically for sharing all kinds of figures on the item and it fills out automatically. On my cost tab, I can define whether it's a standard cost or a first in, first out item. In this case, I will select a standard cost item and the cost will be 35. My general post, uh, product posting group will be item purchase in my case. You can define that, of course, by yourself. And I'll select my inventory product post, uh, sorry, inventory posting group here as well. On my price sheet, I could select the unit price if it's a sales item, but in this case, I will only use it in a hierarchy, so I wouldn't mind for that. On replenishment tab, I could select whether it's a purchase item, a sampler item, or if I have a premium version of uh, Business Central, I could also use production order items. And I can select a lead time calculation, for instance, 21 days, and a vendor number that I will purchase this item from. Oh, and the default went back here like this. And the manufacturing or production and assembly figure shouldn't be filled out because this is a purchase item. If I have a vendor item number, I could enter it here. On my planning tab, if I want to plan on this item, I could say how to plan it. In this case, I would like to plan on a type order because I only want to buy this item when I actually have a specific demand. So I will buy this item to order. Of course, if you plan with other reordering policies, you can add that here on the reordering tab and then also fill in the corresponding parameters here and you can see that in videos for planning. 